Hello everybody, it's me, Melting Explosibility, back with another episode of Skullgirls Trading Tips. Today, well, today's episode, we're, we're going to be talking about, um, one of my favorite characters in Skullgirls, actually. I know I say that a lot in this series, like, oh, dude, this is my favorite character. I, I genuinely love Valentine. She was, uh, the first character I played in this game, right next to Big Band, um, and she was my first actual main, the first main that I actually learned how to do shit with. Um, I, I always found her incredibly fun to play. Um, like, something about Valentine is just incredibly fun. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm just trying to do her taunt. There we go. Alright, but anyway... Valentine, she is a very fast, uh, very mobile combo character. Um, she's one of the few characters in the game who can double jump and then air dash, which gives her a very unique air mobility game. All of her areas are incredibly powerful combo starters, and she has really powerful chains. Um, so first things first are her special moves. So, first special move would be the Dead Cross. So, the Dead Cross is her projectile. Um, and you know, these are the three versions of it, so there's Light Dead Cross, Medium Dead Cross, and Heavy Dead Cross. None of her Dead Crosses are full screen, uh, but the Heavy one, well, if you, if you use it as an aerial, the Heavy Dead Cross is almost a full screen. But, they're pretty good for, um, you can use them to, like, end combos. Something like that. Um, next, she has Savage Bypass, so Light Savage Bypass, uh, Medium Savage Bypass, and Heavy Savage Bypass. Basically, what these moves do is if I move her back into the middle of the, the screen, uh, Savage Bypass, it leaves your opponent in a set of pop up. Uh, it's, it's a really good combo, it's really good to use during combos, so like, for example, like, that was a very bad example. Well, hold on. Something like that, you know, you just get a nice little basic combo off, um, by using this. So the light one has a very short range. Uh, but it leaves you in a nice little set of pop-up. The medium has a bit more of a, a meaty first hit, and it's always in a set of uh, pop-up. The heavy one, you can kind of combo off of it. It's a lot more difficult, but it does more uh, base damage. So it's like you can do like... You can do some pretty nifty shit with this. With the Savage Bypass, it's, it's kind of cool. Next would be Vile Hazard. So Vile Hazard um, is kind of where Valentine gets a bit more complex and interesting as a character. So Vile Hazard, she has three versions of it. The light version, the medium version, the heavy version. So the light version would be that. So she, you can charge it up three times uh, with each version, and each version does something different. So the purple needle, the one that you get from doing light punch, down, uh, down back light punch, or backwards half circle life punch. Uh, this one is damage over time. This is poison. So if you use it, you can make your combos do a ridiculous amount of damage. That was a very bad example. Hold on. Alright. So like, for example, so, throw your needle. I, what the fuck, man? I keep fucking this up. Alright. So, needle. Come on, alright. But you can do some pretty nifty shit with this. Basically, you can take your best combo and make it do a pretty sizable chunk of damage. That was an infinite, so that doesn't really count, but still. So, you can also, um, so like, since there are three levels of each, and there are three different versions of it, you can actually transfer which version you use mid-vile, and once you get level three, you can transfer between the three. So, you have the third level, um, the third level of each is, you know, the most powerful version. The second version is a nice mid one, and then the, the first one, normally it's just a really weak version, but it's still useful, uh, for, like, mid-combo. So, 
that first one was damage. The medium punch one is uh, enhanced hit time. So for example, just ridiculous amounts of hit time. A lot of uh, pro Valentine players like using the green vial. Because you can you can do shit like that with enhanced hit stun. You can, you can do some pretty nifty shit with enhanced hit stun. Um, I always found that really cool with the hit stun. And then this one I can't really show you to in uh, training mode. But what this does is uh, the heavy punch. It makes your enemies go have a shit ton of input lag. Um, now the higher the level, the more intense the lag gets, and the longer it lasts. So it's pretty neat. Um, I can't really show it in training mode, but it's, it's pretty good. But anyway, onto the onto the uh, onto the uh, cool parts of Valentine. So now we have uh, her normals. So her normals, her triple light punch combos really well. You can also combo that with her medium punch. It's a very easy basic combo that does a, a pretty sizable chunk of damage, actually. Um, and then you can follow that up with her medium kick, or you can do that and then follow up with her... Uh, do three light punches and then her uh, low kick, which combos into her medium kick, or three light punches and a low kick, which combos into her medium punch, which can also combo into a bunch of other shit. Like, the thing I like about Valentine is she can have really long and punch combos, but she can also have really short, uh, sweet bruiser combos. Her normals are really powerful. Her lows combo really well into each other. So like... Like, that was all three of her lows comboing. Um, all three of her, uh, all three of her low punches connecting. And even then, even her aerials... Well... Not as much her aerials as her other tools, but she's she's got really powerful ground tools. Also, another interesting thing about Valentine, Valentine has one of the only grabs in the game that directly leaves you in hit stun. Valentine's grab is incredibly dangerous because if you're fighting a very experienced Valentine player, she can get ridiculous damage off of that. But oh yeah, and I actually forgot. Another interesting thing about uh, Valentine is Valentine does have a command grab. It's called Mortuary Drop, um, and this grab is incredibly good. So if I, for example, uh, if I change the uh, CPU to block always, right? So like, it looks like there's no way to penetrate this grab, but you can also just command grab. So if you really want to lay down intense pressure on your opponent, you can do your combo, and then follow up with the command grab, because there's nothing they can do. It, the command grab is incredibly fast. The only problem with this command grab is that it's incredibly punishable if you miss it. But it does have a really nice range. You can't really combo off of it, it is, it is really good for uh, block breaking. Really good for pressuring and block breaking. It's, it's a very solid tool. Um, I think it's really good. Oh wait, I mean, pfft, never. Um, but now, onto the the more interesting and fun part of each character, their ultimate. So you've already seen. Uh, I meant to backwards throw. Hold on. There we go. Back to the middle of the screen for me, please. So her first ultimate is. Uh, I forgot what it's called. What the fuck? <laughs> this is my checkmate incision. That's what it's called. Checkmate incision. Uh, she kind of just fills the ground area with. So you can jump over that ultimate, which makes it kind of easy to dodge. But it's really good for laying down pressure, and it's a really good combo tool because it leaves them in a hit stun. So like, oh, please, Valentine. Well, better example would be like that, and then. A better example would be like that, and then something like that. You know what I mean? Just some basic shit. You can also just use it as like a zoning tool. It's like you know you can build up vial hazard, and then you know kind of just zone out your opponent with it. It's, it's pretty neat. 
So that's that. Next is EKG Flatliner, which is the one I use the most because it combos really well. She just does 12 uh, Savage Bypasses. Next would uh, would be what I would say, what I consider probably the coolest ultimate in the game. Um, it's a really good execution ultimate, so if, if your opponent has ult, it's a very good confirming tool. Um, but even if your opponent's high, you can use it as a combo, so I will actually combo into it. I think this is one of the coolest uh, animations in the game. Honestly, I find that one of the coolest ultimates in Skullgirls, because the animation is really good. It's a cutscene ultimate. Uh, it's not a command grab, it is blockable, but uh, you can get comboed into it, which makes it incredibly dangerous. Yeah, it's, it's a really good ultimate. And finally, Valentine is actually one of the characters who is level 5. Um, Forbidden Procedure Rebirth X Machina, I believe it's called. Yeah, Rebirth, Rebirth X Machina. So that would be down, back, um, medium punch, medium kick. I believe if you do down forward, you just do the... Oh. Yeah, if you do down forward, it's the... You get your pusher. But... This ultimate... For a level 5, it's a bit underwhelming. You think with a name like Rebirth, Rebirth X Machina would have a really cool animation. But no, she just confibulates you. It might not be the coolest, but you, you can get some pretty cheesy setups off of it. You know, you can get some you can you can get some spicy shit going. Now, the special thing about this ultimate, um, that I I will actually show you because you know it's 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 kind of one of the big things about her character. If you have two characters on your team, right, and you have Valentine and you know whatever somebody else. I, I do not want... There we go. Much better. Alright, so... If you have two people on your team, and, uh... I'm trying to think of a good way to show this. If I go to, like... Oh, is there not a way to do this? A better way to do this might be, like... Does this edit... Okay, that edits everyone's help. So if I, uh... Fuck, wait, how do I... There we go, okay. So if I switch to her, right? And, uh... I don't know if I can get her to kill me. I don't know if it works. Wait, can you just not be killed in training mode? That's a bit, that's a bit awkward, but... Basically, the what what Valentine can do is if your if your teammate dies during the fight, um, you can oh CPU is still on. If you uh, if your opponent if your teammate dies during the fight, you can actually use that ultimate to revive them at I think it's like 20% HP. One pixel. This only does one damage. But, basically, if your opponent is dead, or your your teammate is dead, you can actually use that to revive them. It's actually really good. Um, but that's about it for this character. Other than that, there's not really much except for, you know, the, the obligatory combo at the end. But, uh, yeah, that's, that's basically all the tech you need to know. <coughs> Excuse me. All the tech you need to know with, um... What's her fucking name? This this chick. Valentine. <laughs> yeah, definitely maimed her. Health. 100%. There we go. Oh, wait. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'm so sorry for this, guys. I'm dragging this video on, but I really... I think I... I think I... I think I discovered it. Alright, so wait, if I go back up to health, right? Normal. <laughs> Alright, hold on. So this means if I like... If I like... Does that mean I can actually kill her? Well, eh. I guess while I'm waiting for this to be discovered, I'll...
show you guys some pretty nifty Valentine combos. Does it just leave them on one pixel? That's kind of, eh, that's a bit odd. Alright, but anyway, back to the good old training video. Now that I'm done with that wave. Oh, that makes them unhurtable. Okay, I'm, I'm fucking up these settings, I know, but still. Alright. There we go. So, now it's time for the combo. Uh, I like doing corner combos. You don't have to do corner combos with Valentine, because she has really solid combos all around, but... This is one of the more um, basic combos I can think of when it comes to Valentine. I think it's, it's a very powerful combo. It does a pretty nice chunk of damage. Fuck, wait. There we go. Valentine's combos, they're incredibly fun to pull off. Um, and they're incredibly rewarding. Also, if you hold uh, any punch button during this, you skip the animation. But yeah, that's, that's about it for Valentine. I really hope you guys enjoyed. I know, I honestly have so much fun playing this character, and this game in general. I just love this game. But yeah, um, that was Valentine, uh, my one of my mains. Um, I don't know the most impressive Valentine combos, but I honestly think uh, I have better Valentine combos than somebody who's new to the game, so that's always a plus. But anyway, hope you enjoyed watching. I know I enjoyed making it. As always, if you like what you saw, remember to like, comment, subscribe. This like it, if you dislike it. This is me, Melting Explosive Bloodly, here with Skullgirls, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.